Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in this video, we will going to discuss next trigger scenario. And believe me, whatever the trigger scenario I am sharing, so these are the one which normally asked in the interview. So if you are the one uh, fresher, one, two, three year of experience person, then have a look to all these scenarios. Similar kind of scenario you will be given in the interviews also. Okay, now let's focus on the today's scenario. So it is something like this. You are having this account, okay? And on this account, we are having the related contact also. So in contact, uh, I am having one of the checkbox. So you can give any name to this checkbox. Okay, one checkbox type of fill I created here. So the scenario comes here is whenever user will going to update any contact record. And if the checkbox is true, that contact name you will going to update over this account. So this is basically the account. In this, we are having one of the description field. That is the standard field only and in this description you will going to update that name of the contact for which user updated the checkbox to true. Okay. So the recently updated one you will going to update and from this recently updated if the checkbox is true you will going to update the name into the description field of that account. So let's write a trigger on this. So the first thing comes here is what object on which uh, what object you will go what object you will going to select on which you will going to write a trigger. So here your user will going to perform an action where on the contact. Okay, whenever user will going to update the contact record, you need to update the account. So the object will be contact here on which I will going to write a trigger. Next comes is the event. So whenever user will going to update any contact record that updation you will going to do over the account so here another object is coming on which you need to perform the updation once this is updated checkbox is done okay it is updated after this you need to update the account with the name of that updated account contact name sorry okay so here in this case the event you will going to use after plus update why update because on update of contact i need to fire my trigger so the event we are having here is the after update plus the contact is the one on which we will going to write our trigger. So this is done. This is after update event is added. Let's create one method and in this method I will going to write a logic. Okay. So this is the one same method, uh, same handler I will going to utilize. Let's make it as update account description. So two context variable we will going to pass as this is update. So new value also be required and the plus old value is also needed. Why? Because using new and old only will get to know whether the checkbox is updated by the user or not. If yes, then only we will going to execute the logic else not. So let's pass trigger dot new plus trigger dot old map. So I will going to pass the trigger dot old map only. Okay. Because using the maps, we can easily able to access the values. If you will pass the all list, then you need to take help of and loop to access the values. Public static void. Here comes the name. And finally, let's add the values. Okay, here is list of contact will going to come. This is list of contact. This is new list of contact. Plus old map we will going to add so map will be of key as id and value as the complete contact record so this comes here is old map of contact this is done now let's add your logic so first thing is we will going to check whether the records which are coming here in this new list the checkbox is updated for them or not okay so this is the first thing we will going to check so use the iteration using the for each loop we will going to check this first we will going to make sure this list is having the value using the is empty you can check this is done now let's add the iteration so here comes the contact on obj now here comes this list this is done now we will going to compare the new value plus the old value and then we'll make sure yes this is the record where the checkbox is updated from false to true it should not be like this previously also old value was true and new value is also true and at this time also you will not going to perform any result or execution of your call okay at the time of false to true only i will going to execute so if new value so here let's access the api name of the checkbox this is the one 
is not equals to the old value let's access the old value from this map okay dot get so i will going to add the id because in the old map and new list the records are same only the difference is of old and new values okay one will contain the previous values and one will contain the values after updation so this is done now let's create a set of id in which i will going to store all the account ids okay let uh, let's create first the set then i'll show you why i created the set of account id is equals to new there come here comes the set id done okay now let's add the account ids in this set so wherever the condition is satisfied i will going to collect all those accounts from the contact on contact as you know we are having the lookup of account so those ids we will going to collect and one more check you can add here and uh, what is the another check let's add the new value should be true okay here comes the another one and then the new value should be true yes this is updated plus after updation whatever the new value is there it is true plus we will going to add one more condition that contact is having a account related to it okay account is not null this is also important so all the checks we have added and finally we'll going to collect id within this set now this set we will going to use to get all the contact which are recently updated where checkbox is equals to true so we'll going to take help of sql query plus inner query we will going to add okay so let's do a iteration over the account so directly i am doing the iteration over account you can also store the data first into the list and then that list you can iterate so now here comes the query what query we will going to add so within the query only everything we will going to add all the filters okay so description we need to update let's query the description also plus now let's add the query select id then comes the checkbox we will going to check whether the checkbox is true or not okay plus also access the name because name is the one which we need to update over the description if you will not going to query out the name it will going to give you the error that uh, field is not retrieved in the sql query okay so this is also done from contact so the plural name or the child relationship name will going to come here okay then where uh, this contact one more thing you will going to add the condition where checkbox is true only those related records i will going to access where checkbox is equals to true plus i will also going to add the filter order by okay i only want to access the recently updated contact why to access all the related contact no we'll only going to access the recently updated contact okay where the checkbox is equals to true so order by last modified date ascending okay uh, sorry in the descending this will going to give you the recently updated record and will going to add the limit one also only single record is required whatever the recently updated is the one and if the checkbox is true retrieve that record single contact only will retrieve and that name we will finally going to update over the account this is done from account only those account we will going to access where id belongs to this set id in this set okay now we will going to add the logic once we are able to retrieve the data okay finally we'll going to do the next step where we will going to update the description so here comes the description now and in this description what you need to update that contact name so let's update that contact here comes the contacts because this is the one okay this name will come and here only single record we are having so let's add zeroth index whatever the single record is there for that record access me the name and update in the description field and now one thing is your trigger is on after you need to take help of dml to update this account okay so let's create one list in which we will going to add all the data where we want to update list to update is equals to new list of account
this is done now in this list we will going to add all the accounts after updating the description and once we are done with our loop we will going to perform the dml so this is done let's come outside the loop and perform the dml here first we'll check whether this list has a value or not so avoid all the null pointer exceptions okay now here finally perform the dml update is this done this is only you need to do first you will going to filter out the data get all the account ids then you will going to query out get only recently updated one where checkbox is equals to true once this is done then finally update your description and as this is on after you need to take help of update dml also then only data will going to get updated for account now let's test this so this is done this is also saved let's test this trigger okay let's go back this is one of the account i am having okay and it is i think having related to two contact also so for this only we will going to update so this is one of the contact already checkbox is true okay let's deactivate this save at this time if you go back to your account you will see nothing will going to be updated over the description why because at this time the condition does not satisfy the checkbox needs to be true now again let's try to make this true and see so let's make it from false to true and save and let's go back to your account where is your account where it is in the details the name is added contact via lookup now let's update the second one and see because recently updated one it will going to update in the description so it is again already true let me deactivate this and again will go so at this time this is the recently updated related contact but it will not going to get updated why because as per the query the checkbox needs to be true so here you will see the same name is there okay now let me make this checkbox true and then see the changes so let's make this true and save now let's go back to account and it is updated with the recently updated where checkbox is true so this is how you will going to do this scenario okay hope this is helpful we'll meet you soon in the next scenario thank you so much for watching